Okay, so I got everything reseated uh, into place. It's very nice and tight connection. Uh, the pins were slightly bent, uh, but let's go ahead and plug this in and we'll see what happens and see if we have any um, controls uh, that are working. I got a feeling that this is going to work, but I'm not sure. We're going to try it. Just see what happens. Okay, let's hit play. Nope, nothing. So we still don't have any, any, uh, functions. So we still got some issues. We do got a uh, cap that's bad. Um, yeah, even the remote's not working still. So we got an issue. It's a work in progress. Uh, one of the things that I can think of is uh, um, these caps tested okay, but these back here I haven't tested. So I think for right now we're going to be kind of in the doghouse. <laughs> I got to try to diagnose and see, you know, what's what's happening and and uh because i i know that there's an issue with this circuit board possibly this one as well so you never you never know you know you could be uh you know having some issues here it was weird that, uh, you know, by moving it around, it would uh, play. And every once in a while, I can get it to go into play, you know. So, yeah, this is something that I'm going to have to diagnose it, and then we'll fix it, and then we'll do a uh, official review on it when I get it fixed. And I'm not sure if I can fix it. I'm not uh, sure. I mean, I think that it's a strong possibility that I could repair it. Um, now, if I had a scrap machine, so if I had a, a, a 6400 or 6800, both of those, um, have uh, the circuit board here and this circuit now this particular model this chassis was uh, on the the 4500 the 4900 the 6400 and the 6800 and I think the 4700 but I know it was a 45, the 49, the 64, and the 68. So the 64 and the 68 model number was the ones with the four heads. Um, and you'll notice that on this particular one, you, you can see that there's um, a lot more wiring. I just leaned down on the board there. Okay, let's try. I'm gonna try something, guys. Yeah, just give me a second. Let's uh, let's get a close up. Okay, guys, let's get a close up. 
see here. Okay. Yeah, we got a, a lot of noise. Well, it, uh, it threaded the tape. Right at the tape, all right. Yeah, all I did was move that circuit board. There's something that's going on with the, and you know, there's a suspicion that uh, it could be, cap here in the back, so the minute I put my back or alright, let's see if we can get this thing to come out. Get the same to come out. It is definitely hot outside. We're probably at about 80 degrees today. It's a lot of heat. Luckily, I carry a sweat rag. <laughs> On days like this, you gotta take two showers. Freaking hot outside. God. There it goes. Come on. As you guys can see that uh, I got it to engage play uh, but moving the circuit board around uh, lost connection so the, the thing that I can think of the thing that I think we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to get a uh, schematic um, so that I can trace uh, what does what. So if I get my service manual, I'll buy one online. I think you can get them for like 20, 25 bucks. Um, mm. And that service manual will tell me uh, where the power comes from, uh, where the power goes, you know, like um, what capacitor does what. 
this cap runs this feature also. What does the transistor do? What's this resistor for? You know, the schematics will tell you everything you need to know about the electronic circuitry. So that's what I need. But I want to play with this just a little bit. See if I can get play to engage. Can't get nothing now, so I can't even get it to eject. So now it's uh, rewinding. Okay, I got it to uh, engage play. It's engaging, as you can see, the light is now on, and it's now playing, it's, it's got, there's some stiction, the tape is sticking to the drum, now that means we need to do some uh, cleaning on the drum, just by moving the circuit board I was able to get it to connect I'm gonna take some contact cleaner and I'm gonna clean the contacts on both sides of the, where the connection where the two where the two boards connect to each other I'm gonna do some contact cleaner in there and we'll see what we can do but we do got it to play um, so this tape that I'm using is uh, a bad tape it has a tendency to clog heads so that's why I put this tape as my testing tape because you don't want to damage your good tape you know so let me I'm gonna hook it up to the TV and see if I can get any audio or video probably won't now the last time I used it I got video and audio but uh, I don't know, who knows. Let's get it hooked up and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna keep it playing because I wanna make sure that uh, I can see it. I'm just curious if there's an image. <laughs> 